Hello, my name is Trinity. I'm a senior conference ambassador this summer, and I'll be giving you your live tour of Adohi, our cameraman. Hey y'all, I'm Henry. I'll be the cameraman for today. Um, be sure to let us know if you have any questions about Adohi or living on campus, and uh, also be sure to drop in uh, where you're tuning in from, like city, state, and things like that. So, all right, Trinity, what are you going to show us first? The first thing we're going to show you is the creative community. We use key fobs. They look like this for security measure in order to get into the buildings on campus. And this is our creative community. We also call this building a Dohi B, if you are hungry. Um, this building is named a Dohi after the Cherokee word woods. Gotcha. This is Mary. She runs the creative community. Hi, Mary. Hi, guys. So I run the Creative Community. We're actually in the performance space right now. Um, here we have everything from lectures to performances themselves, of theater. We actually have an outside theater area, too, that is actually stone steps instead of like our wooden little steps here. And then we actually do a couple like movie things that happen outside in the grass out there, too. Awesome. Come with me. I'll show you more. So through here, we actually have practice rooms that are completely soundproof. The first room, we actually have a grand piano in it, so you can play it any time that you want. And then six and seven at the very end here can actually change the acoustics in the room. And a lot of students don't just use this for, you know, for instruments, but they also use it for theater. And also, if you just want a really, really quiet like, place to actually study, too, it's really nice. Do you have to reserve a room, or can you just come down first? So we both, we have actually both. You can reserve on our website. So if you just look up UARC Creative Community uh, on Google, it should bring you straight to our website, and there you can actually reserve the rooms. Or you can just come in. We love walk-ins anytime you want. And again, all of these rooms are free to you, including the materials that we actually have here too. Awesome. And if we don't have it, let me know. I'll see if I can get it. Awesome. And then this way. <laughs> so where are you taking us next? This is the green room. So this is where we actually have all of our photography and film equipment that you can use and rent out. We have different screens also that you can use. The reason why we have, we call it a green room, because we do have a green screen. And we actually have the technology that you can change your background. Oh, cool. And then next, we're heading towards the seminar rooms. Each seminar room is a little bit different. Two of them are set up to be like for professors, so there's a large teacher desk. And at the very end, our last seminar room down here actually does not have a teacher's desk for it, so it's more like a conference room. But we have study groups use these areas all the time. Mm -hmm. And do you have to reserve those spaces as well? You can, yes. Or you can come down and just use them. Gotcha. We get a ton of walk-ins. Like I said, walk-ins are probably one of our biggest things. A lot of people don't want to reserve it, <laughs> which is fine with us. We just block it out as soon as you come down. Then we have the spray booth down here. Mm -hmm. This is where you can actually spray paint or do graffiti art, whatever you want. Anything that gives off a fume, we actually use this. We prefer you not to do it outside on our concrete. <laughs> And then next is kind of our heart of the creative community. It's our makerspace. Awesome. We also have once a year a mural contest. This is actually one of our murals that won. And they are actually student driven. So if you're interested in doing a mural down here in the creative community, just let me know. I can help you out. And be sure to y'all to let us know any questions you have about the creative community. Mm -hmm. And then this is our painting and drawing area. Well, this is our major space as a whole, but this is the painting and drawing area. Now we have textiles and then electronics. So all the paints that you've ever wanted, paintbrushes, watercolors, anything. Textiles, we have sewing machines that also embroider. Crickets that you can actually cut out vinyl if you wanted to, also iron on. And then of course our electronic section, which has 3D printer, a laser cutter, 
two soldering areas. So any of you guys engineers, architecture, we're here for you, especially if you book up over in the architect and engineering word, like shop. We can help you out. Awesome. And then, we also have our recording studio. And again, guys, this is all free to you. Yeah. We have microphones, three to four different kinds, mic stand. We actually have the Midas 32. Everything is soundproof also. It's here for you guys to play with anytime. So please come and play. <laughs> and then last but not least, is our movement studio. And in here, you can do anything from dance to yoga, martial arts if you wanted to. I mean, we rock in here. And the floors actually have springs underneath them. So of course you won't get hurt yourself as bad. And then if you need your privacy, our shades go down. Wow, super neat. Trinity, are you freaking out? Because this is, you didn't even mm. know this happened. <laughs> this is learning features about Adohi every day. Right? It is so much fun. And we have all of this equipment too. We even have a ballet bar. We have yoga equipment from yoga pillows to yoga mats to yoga blocks. We even have equipment that you can check out for like cameras to do your videos or your pictures. We even have, oh my gosh, we even have the wave tablets the newest ones, so if you wanted to digitally uh, use our media lab too that has two computers in it, you can just check those out. We have a ton of stuff that you guys should come and check out. And again, it's all free. I don't know how many times I can say it, guys. It yeah. is free. <laughs> you don't awesome. have to pay anything. You just come down here and have fun. Come have fun with us. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Well, y'all be sure to let us know any questions you have about the creative community and, um, and Adohi in general. But for now, Mary, could you tell us a little bit more about what you do for the creative community? Oh, yeah, no problem. Here, let me put these back up. But um, so we have different types of events that happen down here. Um, I actually run a team called the CCAs or the Creative Community Assistants. They'll be the ones who will be checking you in and checking you out. It's kind of like a um, RA position, but a little bit less responsibility. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a lot more fun, I would have to say, because we do really fun things here, um, training students how to use the machines, and having events that we have down here. We're planning on having two events, or actually four events all together. Two, uh, one of them will be a self-defense class that wow. we will provide every semester. Super cool. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> and then one last question for you. Sure. What, uh, what feature of the creative community, community gets used the most, you'd say, that you oh. see sees the most usage? I would actually have to say our practice room, movement studios, and our laser cutter. Because as soon as you realize that the laser cutter is super duper easy to use, you'll be laser, cut laser cutting everything from like Christmas ornaments to just like, we actually had a student who was getting married her senior year and she did all of her invitations. Wow. I know. Right? That's super cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yes, it's really simple to do. It takes about less than 20 minutes to train on it. And then you just have fun and design your stuff. And the laser cutter does it all for you. It's super easy and super fun. Awesome. <laughs> well, um, we're going to move on to other parts of Adobe. But thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, be sure to let us know, y'all, if you have any, have any questions about the creative community. You guys have a good day. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Mary. All right, Trini, I believe you're going to take us to go meet the CRE of Adohi right now, right? We're going to go meet the CRE of Adohi today. Awesome. We're going to go back up these steps. Mm -hmm. And Trini, what's your major? Oh, super cool. Yeah. Let us know, y'all, in the comments uh, what, what you're majoring in or planning on majoring in. And, yeah. This is where we're going. This is our CRE for Adohi. All right. Hi. Hello. I'm Jackie. I use she, her pronouns. Uh, I am the Adohi CRE. I went here for grad school, but then left for a little bit and worked in Southeast Missouri State University. Uh, and then I came back this past January to supervise a dohi, and isn't she gorgeous? Yeah. Um, absolutely love this space. Uh, but you will most likely see me in my office 
which is this lovely space. Um, anytime you have any issues or want to talk through some roommate conflict you might be having, uh, you can definitely come knock on the door. Um, I should be here normally between 8 and 5. Um, but yeah, this is my office. Mm -hmm. Memorize where it is and come see me when you need me. Awesome. Well, um, one, uh, one question I have for you, and uh, let us know, y'all, what questions you have for Jackie the CRE, but could you tell us uh, what does CRE stand for? And I know, you, I know you talked a little bit about what you do, but what, what is a typical day for CREs? Uh, so CRE stands for Coordinator for Residence Education. Um, it's kind of a, a fancier term for hall director, um, if any of your families, they might be more familiar with that term. Um, but essentially, I supervise the RAs, the resident assistants that live on each of your floors. Um, so there will be 18 staff members or 18 RAs in this building this year. So I supervise them. Um, I, help, I help oversee some of the um, events that get planned in this area. Um, I also do a little bit with conduct. So if you end up going through conduct, you will likely speak with me. Um, I also oversee a lot of logistical things. So when things go wrong in the building, um, I'm often the first person that is responding to that after the RAs notify me. So just managing the building, keeping this place uh, beautiful and accessible for everyone. Um, so yeah, just my job is to help make this year as great as possible um, and help you enjoy your residential experience while you're with us on campus. Awesome. And one last question for you. Do you have a favorite uh, event that goes on in a dohi or a favorite feature of a dohi? Any, anything you'd like to share? My favorite thing about a dohi is all of the outdoor common spaces, um, particularly the uh, area where we have hammock uh, beams. I'm, I'm not sure what they're mm -hmm. called, um, but it's an area where you can bring your hammock and uh, it's in a really nice kind of like shaded area between Pomfret and Adohi and y'all will get to see that in just a bit. Um, but it truly is gorgeous to get to like be here, um, but also be outdoors and enjoy like the beautiful architecture of the building. And it's definitely my favorite thing about Adohi. Oh, and the creative community too. Second mm -hmm. favorite, because I am a very crafty person. Well, awesome. Well, Jackie's <laughs> going to be joining us for the rest of the tour, y'all, and then Trinity will take us to where we're going to next. So where's next, Trinity? We're going to go see the courtyard of Adobe. Gotcha. The outside area. You can kind of see it from inside. It's very gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And can you tell us how many buildings is Adobe composed of? Three. It has Adobe A, Adobe B, and a cabin. Okay. Which we'll show you a little later. This is the outside amphitheater that Mary was talking about, and then this is the grass yard she was talking about we watch movies some night this is the courtyard this is gorgeous we have a basketball court that way so you can come and hang out with friends it's really nice as well and we're gonna go through the cabin area today mm -hmm. um as a senior conference ambassador we have a camp going on we hold a lot of camps here Awesome. So this is the cabin? Yes, this is what we call the cabin. Um, I've also heard it referenced as a dohi C, so whichever one you'd like. This year the band camp is using superhero themes, so it's really nice. Um, you can also play pool and ping pong here and check out equipment out at the front desk. It's really nice to hang out with friends or study or eat in here. So just come and enjoy it. Um, it's also really cool and nice. We'll also definitely have a Super Smash tournament at some point this year. If any of y'all are into Super, if any of y'all are into Super Smash Brothers, uh, I'll bring my Switch and we can have a tournament. I'm really bad, but my partner can be here and he's actually really good, mm -hmm. so that'll so, be fun. So do a lot of programs go on in this room? Oh my goodness, yes. We host all of our like all halls, which is basically an event where the entire building is invited. Um, we have food, snacks, maybe movies. It really varies um, depending on the semester and what the students really want to see, but a lot of programming happens in here. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of use of the kitchen at the very end. It's a little bit taken over by band camp right now, which is totally fine. Um, but yeah, there are two ovens down there and some sinks and a lot of stuff if you, if you want to bake. and. Yeah, it's a really good time. Awesome. And then one question we had is um, for the pool table, um, where would they check out equipment for that? Yeah, they will check that out at the front desk. 
Um, they can get the pool sticks, pool balls, um, all the stuff that goes with that. Also ping pong balls um, and the paddles. Um, and then we also have some like miscellaneous board games and other things of that nature. Um, so yeah, definitely check out the front desk and that's where you can check out that stuff. Awesome. <laughs> all right. This is a nice chill out place that you can hang. And Adobe has a lot of nice nooks in it. Ooh. Um, you can sit in there, read in there, study in there, so mm -hmm. it's really nice. And we have a TV this way, as well as a TV that's not real. With color changing mm -hmm. crystals. <laughs> oh, okay. So it won't actually light on fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Super cool. And you have a great view to outside. Mm -hmm. And I believe also these blinds would normally lower, wouldn't they? Yes, they normally lower, but I think they're turned off right now because of the age of the band camp kids. Gotcha. So we don't want them to break. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are very <laughs> mm -hmm. But we're going to head this way across the mm. courtyard, but we're going to stop and show you the hammock area and comfort, which is where you'll eat at the dining hall. Well, it's the closest dining hall to the building. This is the hammock area. It's really nice. Um, you can come at any time, just mm -hmm. bring a hammock. Um, and then right over there, that building you see across the field is called Pomfret, and that's where you enter, enter to get into the Pomfret dining hall. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So now we're going to go see Adobe A. This is the lobby area here, so you can sit here and hang out and that sort of thing. And this is the front desk. Mm -hmm. Hi, Siri. Theory. Theory. Hi, I'm Siri. I'm mm -hmm. coming here at Adohi. If you have a pack bro, you want to ask about May packages and then the lot changes, come and see me. Awesome, good deal. So, like she said, you can pick up packages here. You swipe your ID. Um, mm -hmm. The hours will vary. It is closed on Saturdays. And these are your mailboxes. You'll get a combination in your New York housing portal. As well as over here is recycling and trash. At the university, we're really big on recycling. So, mm -hmm. Take a chance to join it, and then you have a printer as well. Super cool. And we're going to head this way. This is Adobe Hay's laundry room. Mm -hmm. You'll have an app called Speed Queen. Speed Queen. And you'll get two washes a week and two, wash and two dries a week. So that's 32 washes for the entire semester. Mm -hmm. And you'll track it on an app, and it will restart every semester. Gotcha. And Jackie, is this the only laundry room or is there a second one? Um, this is the only laundry room in Adohi A. However, there is a separate facility for laundry over in Adohi B. Um, it was right there next to where my office is, um, mm -hmm. kind of in between my office and the elevator. Gotcha. And sorry, Trina, you were saying something? No. Oh, oh awesome. All right, where <laughs> okay. to next? We're going to go up the stairs, I mean, up, use the elevator mm -hmm. to go to the second floor. Gotcha. And we may lose a little bit of connection here, y'all, so just bear with us if we, if we do. Oh, I thought we were going up to a higher floor. And most of them look identical. We just ask that you clean up after yourself, and you can check equipment out at the front desk for the kitchen area. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Uh, just if anybody was curious, there in Adoki A, there's a kitchen on the third floor and the fifth floor. On uh, or in B building, there's a kitchen the uh, third floor, the fourth floor, and the sixth floor. Mm -hmm. um, but you're always welcome to go up or downstairs. If you don't have one on your floor, um, you're not limited to which kitchen you can use. Gotcha, super cool. And then we're gonna take the stairs and go up to the mm -hmm. fourth floor so we can look at a semi-suite room. Gotcha. So can you uh, explain what type of uh, style a dohi is, whether it's community, semi-suite, suite? So a dohi is a combination of a community and a semi-suite. So mm -hmm. you know, the semi-suite is when you have your own bathroom in your room, and community is when you share a bathroom mm -hmm. with the hallway. Gotcha. Now, the hallways that share a bathroom, they will be single gender. Mm -hmm. so. And they're referred to as pods, pods. I think? Pods, yes. Gotcha. It's called the pod style room. Mm -hmm. And the only difference is there's not a bathroom in these rooms, mm -hmm. but they have the exact same dimensions and the layout. This is a study area. There will be study areas here as well as study areas at the end of the hallways. Mm -hmm. um, and Adohi B, the hallways are a little longer, so they have a nice little reading nook in there in the middle of the hallway. Mm -hmm. This is what the bathroom looks like. There will be three bathrooms in this hallway in total. Gotcha. And we're going to head this way to look at, this, to look at the study room areas at the end of the hallway. Mm -hmm. And be sure, y'all, to let us know any questions you have about Adohi so far, and uh, pretty soon we'll be seeing uh, what a room looks like. 
Also, this dorm will be open during winter and spring break. Awesome. So, uh, Trini, are you going to be working? I think you said you're going to be working as an RA, right? Yeah, I'll be an RA at Palm Break this upcoming mm -hmm. year. So, so pretty, that's really nice. Pretty close by to uh, Doe. Could you say a little bit more about what RAs do? Um, a resident assistant helps with uh, conflicts on the floor, or they make events for the residents to enjoy. Mm -hmm. They're just sort of there as like someone that you can go to if you need help and that sort of thing. Gotcha. This is a long hallway. Yeah, you're doing good backpedaling. This is the study area. There's one on the end of each hallway again. Um, just watch the volume of the TV, please, because the room's closest to you can hear them. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's the only little thing. Yeah, and so there's one of these on, or at least one of these on every floor? Yes. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yes. All right, then I think we're yeah. gonna go see your room now. We're gonna show you the semi-suite room. So this is the sink area. Um, she's really nice, great lighting. Mm -hmm. You have a closet on this side and a closet on this side. Mm -hmm. The closets can't be moved. Um, then you have, this is the livable area. You have two beds and two desks. Um, furniture cannot be removed from the room, but you can add furniture if you'd like. Does anyone have any questions? Oh, the bathroom. Oh, yes, the bathroom. Go yes, ahead and show we'll us show that. show you the bathroom now. This is a bathroom. Mm -hmm. Um, you have a nice shower here and mm -hmm. a curtain, and then you have a toilet and some toilet papers and a hand towel rack. Gotcha. All right. So y'all be sure to let us know what questions you have. Uh, our first question is, can you tell me the dimensions of the desk top surface? Yes. You are. There's the tool. <clears throat> So two feet, eight inches in length and two feet in width. Yes. Mm -hmm. And y'all, if you uh, forget uh, uh, the dimensions of these, you can go to our um, to housing.uark.edu and you can look up the dimensions as well. And I'm going to keep looking through y'all's questions. Um, will an Amazon Echo Dot connect to the Wi-Fi in the dorm? I believe it will. It will uh -oh. oh, it will not. Uh, Never mind. I have three Echo Dots and none mm -hmm. of them so I would encourage you to look at the IT website. Um, they have a guide on what devices will work on our Wi-Fi and what won't. Um, also make sure you register your device. And mm -hmm. you know, I had a lot like my PS5 and my Switch and all of that. So mm -hmm. definitely look into that ahead of time so you're not as stressed on move-in day when you're trying to watch your Netflix. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Awesome. All right. Yeah, okay. the search term uh, IT and UARC will help mm -hmm. get you to that. So we know it's something that students want. It's just not something we can support, unfortunately, yet. Okay, gotcha. Awesome. All right, another dimension question. How deep is the shelf at the top of the closet? So this shelf over here. One foot and six inches. One foot and six inches. What are the dimensions of open shelving under the sink area height? Sink piping thing that's kind of in the way in the middle, so keep that in mind. Gotcha. And just a reminder, y'all, this is if uh, the sink and uh, toilet are is, it, is if you're in a semi suite room. And uh, Jackie, this is a question you may know which side is A and which side is B? Mm -hmm. I actually do not know. Oh, gotcha. I do know, mm -hmm. I do know that. Oh, go Trinity, it. go. Go for it, Trinity. <laughs> this side is A mm -hmm. and this side is B. Gotcha. So left uh, side A is left as you're coming into the room, and then side uh, to the right is side B as you're coming into the room. Um, awesome. It's interesting. So when you receive an assignment as to where you're going to live, it'll say A and B. Mm -hmm. That doesn't necessarily designate to a specific bed, typically. Mm -hmm. uh, a and B is kind of agreed upon by the roommates, but oftentimes the convention is, because we read left to right, this is the A, mm -hmm. this is the B, but it's something that's agreed upon between the residents themselves. Gotcha. So it's not set in stone? 
it's not sticks. So. so when you're doing your room inspections, just be sure to let your RA know which side you're actually living on. Yeah. All right. What is the distance between the end of the desk to the end of the longer wall? The end of the desk to the end of the longer wall. So um, is he talking that way or this way? I'm not sure. Uh, uh, what you mean by the end of the, because it could be that. like this area, but all the furniture, all this furniture is movable. Um, so you can adjust it to have more space as is. How wide is the area above the shelf in the closet? Okay. So, and I think how wide as well. Okay. It's two feet and eight inches in height. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Two feet and eleven inches in width. Gotcha. Are the ceilings lofted in the semi-suite rooms on the sixth floor of a Dohi B? Jackie, is that a question you may know? All of the ceilings. Uh, I'm ninety-nine percent sure on this. I'm that all of the ceilings are the same height, um, whether you're on the sixth floor or the second floor. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know the exact height of the ceilings, but they should all be the same. Gotcha. And there is a detail worth pointing out there. They do kind of move upwards. Mm -hmm. See how you can see that? They get taller as you leave this closeted bathroom mm -hmm. area into the main space. Do you want to, do you mind doing from the bottom to the top and letting them know? Ten feet and nine inches. Got it. And then there's a little bump here and it opens back up again too. You might give them a view of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you tell us more about that? Because um, I think it's that it was a pretty uh, reusable or environmental friendly. Yes. Um, so we actually worked with um, a local um, Cherokee tribe, I want to say, um, just to uh, discuss the building and make sure that we are giving back and using sustainable materials. Um, so this is the largest residence hall in North America that is um, made out of cross laminated our architectures did. Um, so I'd like to point out that those in the workspace that we were in the makerspace before, those mm -hmm. tables, those are all cast off materials that were part mm -hmm. of the construction of the rest of this hall. And cross laminated timber is fabricated kind of in a, it's, you know, it's grown in the woods and then fabricated to really the tinsel strength of, of steel. And mm -hmm. uh, it's brought here, we put it on a big puzzle. It doesn't uh, take as many like resources typically as a steel construction or concrete construction so it's very very groundbreaking yeah yeah absolutely gotcha all right next question length of both on shower walls so uh just the length of the walls okay of the shower mm -hmm. Eight feet. Eight. And then I'm going to assume the back ones possibly feet. So eight feet. Uh, and then you want to do this way? Yeah, so eight was that eight feet long, eight feet uh, eight tall? Eight feet height. Eight feet height. And then a foot and eight inches in width. Foot and eight inches width. And could you measure it uh, this uh, Measure uh, this way? Yeah. Yeah. And make sure the uh, the light is facing up because it was uh, going down a little bit this way. Yeah. Okay. Three feet and one inch. Mm -hmm. And then could you? It's that square. Mm -hmm. There you go. Two feet mm -hmm. and ten inches. Gotcha. And remember, y'all, you can always look up these dimensions online at our website. All right. So, what is the width of the closet? Uh, this way. Two feet and eleven inches. Gotcha. And sorry, y'all, one second, my camera's acting a little bit funky. There we go. How many inches between the top of the closet shelf and the ceiling? I believe we measured that again, but do you mind measuring it uh, again, Trinity? Two feet and seven inches. Two feet? 
Could you press the, the button again? I just wanted to make sure. This is two, okay, two feet and seven inches. All right. How many outlets are in the room? All right. Generally, there's six to eight. Six Sometimes to eight? Six to eight. Mm-hmm. Let's do our, let's do it, the scavenger hunt. Yeah. Four, so there's one, six, six. so one, two. There's typically, there may be some below the bed as well, but um, like Christopher said, there's usually anywhere between, yeah, there's usually anywhere between uh, six and ten. Four but let's, here. Mm-hmm. Four here. Four mm-hmm. there. That's eight. Four there. Mm-hmm. Okay. It can also vary depending on if your room is um, semi-suite style or pod style. Um, but generally, we'll be located in, in the corners of the room. What is the height measurement of the slats on bed for lofting? So um, go ahead and measure. Um, These go up and down three inches yeah. each. Three inches each? Uh-huh. Three mm-hmm. inches for every different position. Mm-hmm. So it's three inches between those different positions. Um, mm-hmm. If you go to movein.uart.edu, Go to ready to arrive and look at uh, mattress sizes and lofting. Mm-hmm. You'll find the exact increments that are offered whenever you loft this. And this is one where you pull it off and you flip them around. This is easily like we have some mallets here, but if you want to loft this ahead of time, or if you want to loft this when you get here, it's easy enough to kind of knock out there mm-hmm. and then flip it over, and you can go up all the way to the very tippy top if you want to. Gotcha. All right. What is the height of the closet shelf to the floor? So from here down to the ground. Five feet and two inches. Five feet and two inches. All right. What are the measurements of the dressers? So the dressers are over here. So you could put uh, put the piece of paper there and then put it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Two feet and four inches in length, and that should that should be close enough. Yeah. Two feet. Two, so two and a half feet by two feet, and then could you measure how tall it is? Yeah. Should be three feet. Yes. Three Three feet. feet. Awesome. All right. So our next question is, how much space between the toilet and the wall for putting a cabinet next to it? Okay. Area here? Uh, between the toilet and the wall for putting a cabinet next to it. So I would go ahead and measure um, from here to here because the most space you'd have to put a cabinet is yeah. there. Two feet. Two feet. So that would be the most space that you'd have to put a cabinet. 18 inches. Mm-hmm. You'd want to go 24. You'd want to mm-hmm. go 18 inches. All right. Maybe All right, Trinity. Next question. Question for the pod rooms. Length of the window wall, uh, height from floor to bottom of the window with, so go ahead, let's just measure the window is what I think they're asking. Mm-hmm. Can you open this up for you? What do you, do you uh, to get it from maybe the Do you want the actual like, that way or that way? No, I guess we want the all three probably dimensions. So we get height. We can. Uh, let's see. Hmm, it may be a little hard to, Maybe to measure. Out. Does that work? Oh, cool. If you also um Feet and ten inches in height. Height. And then four feet and eleven inches in width. Four feet eleven inches in, in width. Depth you're looking at uh, three or four inches. Mm-hmm. It is 
Yeah. yeah, three or three or four inches in length. All right, next question. What are dimensions under the sink, under shelf to floor? This bottom shelf here? Uh, let's go ahead and measure both. So let's measure from this shelf down and then from the, the sink down as well. For the smaller shelf, it's a foot and five inches. Mm-hmm. And um, Tall shelf. It's two feet and eight inches. Two feet and eight inches. All right, Jackie. This is a question uh, you may know. Where do you plug into the Ethernet? Is it? Should, yeah, we should have a hookup in mm -hmm. every single room. We should have a hookup. Gotcha. So this is right, right here where you would hook up to the Ethernet, and every room will will have this. Not every room anymore. Oh, not every room anymore. Okay, gotcha. Um, some rooms do not have them, but most of them do. And if, mm -hmm. if they need an accommodation to make sure that they have wireless mm -hmm. or a wired mm -hmm. uh, port, then they can let us know. Okay, gotcha. Could you put a cabinet on the other wall in the bathroom? Um, I believe I believe you, you can. There's space. It's really um, how much. It depends on like the, the size of the cabinet. Um, but you would just have to move in and see if, if you'd be able to, to fit it in there. Can we see one of the pod rooms? So I believe we don't have any pod rooms available, uh, today. We have band camp. Here. Yeah, it just because of, of band camp. But, um, the semi-suite style rooms are very similar. Um, uh, they just don't have the bathroom. I, I can give you a rough idea of what they would look like compared to this room. Um, so essentially, uh, the door would probably start right here for the pod rooms, um, and then you would still have a good amount of space. Um, those rooms are a little bit bigger just because we're not confined of having the space of the bathroom. Um, and then you would have a big open area like this. One closet would be kind of tucked over here. One closet would be tucked over on the right. Um, but yeah, so just kind of imagine this room starting from here instead of back there. Mm -hmm. um, if that makes sense. Gotcha. Next question we have is, what is the best thing to use to hang pictures and what can you use to hang items on walls? Absolutely, I love this question. Mm -hmm. uh, so we strongly, strongly encourage you um, and actually require you to use 3M command strips. Um, any sort of like tape or um, like off-brand versions of those uh, just don't work as well. Um, and whenever you go to pull them off, it will take a huge chunk of paint out of the, um, off the wall. Um, so definitely use those 3M command strips. You can get like the big bulk ones on Amazon um, or whatever you're feeling. Also Walmart has them. Um, but I do also want to point out uh, one thing that's been really popular in the past several years is the LED light strips that go around the entire room. Those are super cute y'all, but I will warn you. Those are not 3M command strip brand. Um, and like I said earlier, if you don't use that brand, it tends to rip paint off the wall. So whenever you put those light strips all the way around the room, it pulls chunks of paint off all the way around the room. And that, that can get pretty expensive um, in the repairs that we have to do for that. So be mindful about what you're hanging up on the wall. Um, try to find some alternative ways to hang things. Uh, if you have something that you can't necessarily use a 3M command strip with, um, but definitely don't put any holes in the wall. And don't repaint when you do damage the wall because mm -hmm. I'll be able to tell. <laughs> gotcha. And someone asked about a towel hook. There are towel bars in the, in the bathrooms. All right. So next question we have is please measure length of the window wall, not the window in a pod room. Um, so just the, the width of this wall. Okay. Um, and uh, I know we mentioned earlier, but we don't have a, a pod room available because of uh, the ongoing band camp. But um, these dimensions should be similar and they're also available online at housing.uark.edu. That was 11 foot 3 inches. 11. So this wooden frame here, and then you mm -hmm. have an extra, I would say, 4 or 5 inches, mm -hmm. 4 inches past that. All right. Next question is, please show the bathroom wall for cabinet again. Trinity, could you show us the bathroom again? Do I need to measure again? Uh, this is, so this area was 2 feet, yes. and then this is the... Uh, 
the wall going in. So maybe you could measure uh, this entire, this wall. Building through this wall? Yeah. Six feet and five inches. Gotcha. Next question is, in the bathroom, how long is the wall to the right of the doorway? So let's measure from here over to there. Two feet and 11 inches. Two feet and 11 inches. And then the width over here is two inches or uh, uh, two feet, I believe is the last measurement. All right, and I think we're all up to date in our questions. Uh, uh, pick one, do you know anything about Pick One? Um, pick One is a program that we allow our freshmen to pick one event or something just to get involved with on campus. We strongly recommend it. It's a great way to meet new people and experience new things. We also recommend... Um, well, that they check out Welcome Weeks. The and check, weeks check out A Week. Uh, mm -hmm. At A Week. Um, you just you can search up a week at UARC and it will give you the schedule um, at the beginning of August for when a week is and basically a week is a bunch of fun events that anybody can go to and meet new people have free food free t-shirts so that's really nice and really fun to just dive right into your um, mm -hmm. thing the event you're going to do on campus and kind of learn about campus that mm -hmm. way. I think sometimes we have it so that at the residence hall itself. Um, there'll be a group that'll get together and they call go together. Mm -hmm. those things. So mm -hmm. a lot of meeting people for the first time and doing something together. So gotcha. you're not alone. Mm -hmm. You have other people who are experiencing it for the first time as well. Could That's you, really nice. Could you uh, um, say like what an, what an example of an event um, during a week? Yeah, so I went to the Greek theater for an a week event and they had like tons of food that are local. Yeah, that, yeah, Fable. Fable. yeah, it's local to Bayville, and there was like insomnia cookies, or like there was Pickleman's. Pickleman's was really nice, had a lot of good sandwiches. Um, just so different, like, um, concessions that way, and that was really nice to just know what the food in Fayetteville was like. Gotcha. And all, all you Texas, all you uh, students from Texas, there is a water burger. Ooh. I've never had it until I moved here. So what? Wow. And I'm pretty sure there will be a taste of Fayetteville. I don't know how you could live without that water burger. I know, right? <laughs> and Jackie, this question you uh, uh, may be able to know. Can you talk about move-in day? For example, where's the unloading zone? Where to park after loading? Do you have carts or dollies uh, yeah. to use or do they have to bring their own? Um, we strongly encourage you to bring your own um, just because we will have some available, but there are about 700 students living here. Um, so we obviously don't have 700 cards uh, for everyone. So if you are able to bring your own, I strongly encourage you to bring your own. Just so you don't have to wait. It's more convenient for you. Um, but we will have those for checkout if you don't have that option. Uh, in terms of move-in day, um, you will be parking across the street from us. Um, it's kind of like right on the opposite side of the street from the cabin. Um, I want to say that is lot 77. Um, so on move-in day, you'll show up, you'll park your car, you will have, is it 30 minutes? 30 minutes um, just to unload all your stuff. Uh, so don't stress. A lot of people are like, we have 30 minutes to unpack our whole room. No, um, you have all day to do that. Uh, but just to get your stuff unloaded from your car, get it into a dolly um, so that you can then move your car elsewhere so that somebody else has the opportunity to park and then um, do the same thing and move all their stuff in. So 30 minutes for that. Um, and then once you move your car, it, everything kind of chills out after that. You can stop stressing. Um, you and any family that you brought with you can head back up to your room, stay as long as they want, help you decorate, unpack, and really get settled in. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like an overview of moving. And here, they, you're probably your, your folks or yourself, if you want to park, you might park in lot 56 after you've unloaded your equipment, your, your stuff or in Harmon parking deck, which mm -hmm. will have two floors towards the top that you can park in. And as long as you get out by the end of the day, there's no cost to it. Uh, Harmon is um, a little bit of a walk from here, but nothing too bad. And I think we have a, a, a texting shuttle service that you can use too mm -hmm. on the night, so, or on the day that those are happening. So yeah, it should be pretty, pretty stress, stressless, but hot. It's gonna be hot. It will mm -hmm. be warm. Um, definitely bring water, bring sunblock, 
Um, if you have family members that are um, maybe not, won't deal with the heat as well or won't deal with the walking as well, um, it may be a good time for, you know, them to maybe not come with you to move in, but, you know, certainly that weekend um, or any point at all, they are more than welcome to come. We'd love to see them. We'd love them to get to come see you. Um, yeah. Awesome. And then someone asked about the measurements of the wall in the bathroom again because their foam froze, and I believe it was two and a half by uh, by two feet. That's what I believe. And this is going to be on YouTube after we finish it. Mm -hmm. You can watch it again and again and again. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And then looking through the next question uh, about dimensions. Okay, yeah. Um, Cheryl, uh, 1978, asks about um, a discrepancy between the website and the dimensions here. Let's, we'll come in and we'll try to answer that um, after this. But she also says, can you measure the height of the desk floor, of the desk floor to top? Have we done that yet? Uh, I don't know if we have. So go ahead and measure the height. So there's a desk over here. So if there's, if there's a discrepancy between what we have on the website and what we have, let's gather it here. We're going through our own process of making sure we have it as accurate as possible. Um, so thank you for calling that out, letting us know. Two feet and five inches. Gotcha. Hopefully that answers that particular question. Mm -hmm. Are there ice makers in the dorm anywhere? Yes, uh, there was an ice maker in the laundry room downstairs uh, in A building. And then there is also one, I want to say it's also in the laundry room over in B building. So there are the really big ice machines, which is super convenient. Gotcha. All right. And like we said before, we're in the process of updating uh, the, the dimensions on our website as well. So we'll, we will update those. But I believe um, we're uh, all updated to questions. Do we still have more time, Christopher, or should we start well, winding it down? Let's, let's certainly give Jackie a chance to speak to the audience. The, the, the students are coming mm -hmm. to live with her. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. So I guess I'm just going to ramble, y'all, um, and talk about just different things that I've seen happen in a Ajohi or just different student experiences. Um, so a couple of like fun kind of quirks, Adohi, uh, it is made out of the cross laminated timber. Um, so in the colder months, uh, the wood it is settling um, and is adjusting to the change in temperature. Um, so sometimes it makes a popping sound and sometimes students freak out and think the ceiling is going to fall through. I promise you the ceiling is not going to fall through. Um, it is a natural process that the wood goes through as the temperatures are getting lower and lower. Um, what other things? Roommates. Um, so for those of you that are living in a semi-suite room, so you have your own bathroom that you're sharing with a roommate, um, it can be really, really tricky to navigate that relationship with your roommate. Um, you've probably never had the experience before of having to tell someone to clean the bathroom if it's their turn. Um, but I think from, from the very beginning, making sure that you have a schedule set out, you're doing a roommate agreement, so both of you have um, the same expectations about how the year is going to go because once classes start, um, especially once we get to midterms, um, it is going to be really stressful for you because you are adjusting to college classes for the first time. So if you just figure out all of those roommate things right from the beginning, it's not going to be as stressful later on because um, you're not having to argue about whose turn it is to buy the toilet paper or clean the shower. Um, and you know, if you if you do happen to run into issues, your RA is going to be a great resource. Train them personally. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to be a great resource for you uh, to navigate some of those issues because it can be really, really intimidating to have to come to someone and say, "Hey, you're doing something that is kind of getting on my nerves or making my life not so great." Um, but yeah, we really want you to develop those skills and be able to advocate for yourself. And yeah. Um, oh my goodness, what else? Mm -hmm. Any advice you would give to incoming freshmen, uh, people coming into the dorms, into the residence halls? Yes, the number one advice that I'm going to give you, and I struggled with this as an undergrad, I would start out the year with a planner, um, but then I would kind of get into this routine of like, oh, I can remember that. That's just one thing to remember. Um, but whenever you have 21 things to remember, uh, that, that sort of adds up. So definitely have a calendar or a planner of some sort to be able to organize um, your time commitments as well as your homework or assignments that you have due. Um, and I would strongly encourage you to just have one calendar for everything. That way you're not missing any, um, like if you 
are involved in a RSO on campus, a registered student organization, um, and they have a meeting. You're not missing those meetings, and you're just able to look in one place to see all of the things that are coming due or all of the places that you have to be. Um, so, strongly recommend that.